Well, it's turned into just an apartment hunting day, I guess. But it's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know. This just might work. <gasps> How are ya? I just woke up. Ah, welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 12. I do know what today is. 12 is my favorite number, as y'all probably know. I just made this latte and it's very, very full. Full. It's, um, have you seen New Girl? Nick, it's like an infinity pool of milk. Anyways, I'm very excited for two things. One was kind of spontaneous. I'm just gonna start getting ready, by the way. I know I mentioned in a vlog recently that I don't know what I want anymore, but I'm thinking probably February or March, I'll sign another lease here in Austin instead of buying something. And I have an apartment in mind that I will probably do, but there's one other apartment that I'm really interested in because it's downtown and it has the typical downtown like concrete floors, floor to ceiling windows, very industrial, very fun. And it's actually surprisingly a little cheaper than the other one I'm looking at. And I think it would be really fun to see if I would like that. The other one I'm looking at is more like out of the way and so it's very peaceful and serene and I feel like that's more my vibe. But also, if there's a time in my life where for a year or less I live downtown in a city and like walk to the shops, walk to dinner, I think that that could be uh, now. You know, the older I get, the less I think I'm gonna wanna do that. So I'm just kinda curious. So at noon, we're gonna go tour the unit that I think I'd want the most because it's a corner. Um, so it has, you know, windows on two sides, which would be great for light and just see if that's even an option for next year. The second thing is I uh, am having some friends over tonight to decorate gingerbread cookies, gingerbread cookies and sugar cookies. I'm hoping I can find Sweet Lauren's sugar cookie dough. I've tracked two places so far and it's sold out. So we're going to go try to hunt some down. Um, and I got mixed to try to make our own gluten free gingerbread cookies and prep those for tonight and then have a cookie decorating party with the girls. I think that would just be really so fun. Just wanted to say hi, hello, good morning before, I don't know, while well, I'm sitting here anyways, you know what I mean? <gasps> tissue box, which is a really bad idea. I'm about to head out here and not too, too long to go to that apartment. But before I go in the morning, you know what time it is? Oh my gosh, I'm matching my seed. <laughs> it's time to take my probiotic. I try to do this in the morning. Sometimes, not gonna lie, sometimes I forget and I do it at night, but it's best to do it on an empty stomach. This is my probiotic, my prebiotic. They call it a symbiotic because it has both and I'm getting to work with them on today's video. I'm really excited. I just got the news that I get to work with them for 2023 as well. And um, I'm like a Seed's biggest fan, Seed's biggest cheerleader. So that was like a very exciting email for me. My nails match Seed also. Let me explain why I take this every day because it actually, I've gotten so many people on it. I've got Jordy on it. I've got so many of my friends on it. A lot of people got on it this month when I did like a little extra promotion with them because I am such an advocate for taking a good probiotic. Your gut health affects so many things. It has helped my skin a lot. It has helped my, um, just my bloating and my tummy feel better overall. Gut health also helps cardiovascular health, respiratory health, uh, your gut immune function. It basically helps your body know which things are pathogenic versus fine to like know what to fight off, which is awesome. It's a much more efficient immune system. So holidays, I've been adamant because it's cold and flu season. Everybody's getting sick. So I'm doing any anything I can to take care of my health and to not get sick. And so this is like the first thing that I am really, really adamant about. In case you're wondering, the other things that I've been doing to like try to support my, they call it the gut immune access. I actually learned about this through Seed. They post a lot of really informative things on their Instagram, 
but is try to manage stress, which is why I vlog most of doing five videos instead of seven. I'm trying to take two days to like reset. Sleeping, you know, staying on as much of the rhythm as I can. I've been averaging nine hours of sleep at night, which I'm really proud of. And increasing fiber. I've been mixing in like oatmeal and more fruits and veggies. Last night for dinner, I had spaghetti squash and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. I was getting in all the fiber, but I've done a lot of a lot of research on probiotics and this by far is the most impressive I've been able to find. It has 24 strains. This also has the prebiotic capsule on the outside, which protects the probiotic. Probiotics are living, so they can die from a lot of different things. They could die from your stomach acids. They could die from heat. A lot of times, other brands, you have to keep them in the refrigerator because otherwise they will literally die. <laughs> so you just figured out the way to keep them alive and to actually deliver to your colon, which is the whole point of it. So love them, love getting to work with them. I have a link and a code that will actually get you 15% off your first month. So I'll have the link down below, but the code's just my name. It's Mikkel. I'm a big fan. I'm really excited to work with them in the new year. I'm just gonna take these before we head on out. Thank you to Seed. Quick change in plans before we head out too. So the um, cookies, the girls in the group chat just said that they need to move it to tomorrow, which is totally fine. I have nothing tomorrow night, but I'm thinking we still make the cookies today because I wanna find Sweet Lauren's for sugar cookies, but I also wanted to make these gingerbread cookies. It's a gluten-free mix. I found this on Amazon because it's the same brand as, did y'all see when we did gluten-free beignets at Jordy's family's house in Alabama? It was this brand, Mom's Place, and they literally have over 100 different gluten-free mixes on Amazon. I need to get Max. The vet is putting him on human Zyrtec. It feels wrong to me, but I need to go get him Zyrtec, I guess, from like CVS and um, swing by and get packages from Jacqueline too. So several errands after we see the apartment. Okay, so I've made it to the apartment. I'm first seeing the unit I thought I wanted, but things have changed. I'm actually really excited to see a different unit, a smaller unit, but this is the one with the windows on both sides. But the reason my um, thoughts have changed is there's construction on this side of the building, which is really loud, as you can tell. Um, also, this side faces north, yep, which doesn't get direct sun throughout the day. So, and this floor plan is only available facing north, facing the construction and less light. There's a different floor plan that's available facing south, and one is opening in February, when I would probably wanna move, that's on the penthouse floor, has a water view, has 12 foot ceilings, and is cheaper than the other apartment that I was looking at. So let's first look at this one. The kitchen is actually beautiful. I'll flip you around and I'll walk you through it, but I'm excited to see the other floor plan. It's just gonna be on this floor, so I don't get to see what the view would look like because someone's living in it right now, if that makes sense. Okay, so you walk in. I love the finish on these cabinets. I could probably turn on more lights in here. There we go. We got a little pantry, fridge, I love the glass cabinets. I also love when Backsplash is just solid, no grout. I think it looks so nice and clean. Nice big sink, and it opens up here. I wonder if I would have space to put my dining table, or if that would be too much. Dining table, TV, couch, I don't know. I would have to play around with that layout and see if I could fit all my furniture, but we got a little coat closet it looks like. Nice bedroom with a nice floor to ceiling window over here. Imagine a mirror next to that. That would be awesome for outfit pictures. It's just the big box, essentially. It looks like, interesting. It looks like it'd be hard to center the bed on this wall with that little lip right there. But let's see closet first. Okay, that is awesome. I love the drawers. That is so nice to have built in. I assume this is probably washer dryer. Yep. And then bathroom. Ooh, I love the finishes in this bathroom. I like the dark tile. It feels very like moody spa. Counter space is always something that I look for. Let's see, good drawer storage. That is awesome. What is this? Ooh, lots of drawer storage. And shower bath pretty pretty standard i do like the lighting 
built into the mirror. That's super helpful for getting ready. Okay, so this was the, this is the actually slightly larger floor plan that has the windows on both sides. But like I said, that construction, and this has the wraparound porch. So the porch goes from here all the way along to this side, which is nice to have all that outdoor space. But I just know that that construction would, would be brutal, especially if I'm filming something not for my channel, if I'm filming like, a, like an ad or something for a company, that would be pretty hard. Let's see. I'm gonna be curious to watch this footage back and see how loud it is. And I honestly don't know how quiet it will be on the other side of the building, but I feel like 19 floors up will be further away from it, which will be nice. So let's go see what the other floor plan looks like. It won't have the view, which I think would be the selling point of it, but just see if it's a little tight. It'll be about two thirds the size of my last apartment. So smaller, but I don't need space. I live alone. I just need light, really. Okay, this one is pretty small. Um, I could not fit all my furniture in here. I actually don't even know if I could fit my couch in here, but I do love the, the view and the light. Um, it's so, like, it's so foggy outside today. There's literally no light, but it still feels brighter and way more quiet. Let's see. Way more quiet on this side. That would be the move for sure. Um, I'll show you the layout. But I also think I was noticing at the elevators, you can see the view on each floor. So I might go look at the, the 19th floor and see what the view is that way. Even though it's so foggy that it's, there's kind of no view anyways, but here's the layout. You walk in, the kitchen layout is pretty much the same. I feel like the last one had a little more counter space on this side. I don't know, I'll have to go look back at that footage, but a lot of good storage. There's two things here, I haven't opened them. Oh, coat closet. That's great, extra storage. I wonder if this is washer dryer. Ah, stackable. Like an older washer dryer, but that's okay. We have, this space is pretty tight. Like I said, I could maybe fit my couch along this wall and maybe a little TV on this wall. It would be pretty tight. Maybe some bar stools. But I'm thinking the patio is so deep if the 19th floor is covered, I wonder if I could put my table outside to have like outdoor dining. I don't know if that would be risky, but um, the patio is really deep, which I do appreciate. And that'd be pretty cool on the top floor. This way, bedroom, same amount of light pretty much as the last one, which is great. I would totally have room. It would actually be easier to put my bed in here because the wall is flush. And you know, my dresser situation on this side. And then, bathroom this one the closet is in the bathroom which i also like what's behind this door is there what there's another door oh you know what i could totally put some like shelves in there and have even extra storage that's just a water heater but same amount of bathroom storage plus that i could probably use that love love this love and um, closet is smaller than the other one. It's more shallow, but still it's a lot of really good closet space for living alone. And you got the drawers. So those couple hundred square feet does make a big difference, but I would choose small plus light plus quiet for sure. Easy. And it's a good challenge for me to not, you know, have too much space because then I would just keep more stuff. But the spot I'm looking at at a different apartment is probably twice this. It's literally twice the size. This is 600 square feet. The other one's 1200 square feet and it's on the water, but this is cheaper and it's kind of a fun change. So let's go peek at, see if we can get up to the top floor and see what that view would look like, even though it's a cloudy day. So it'd be kind of hard to tell. Okay. I am on the other side because they're doing work on the elevator, but I got a couple iPhone clips of what you can see from where my potential unit would face and you will be able to see over there, but it's so foggy today. You can't see the water. It's just beautiful though, to be able to see the water from up here. I don't know. It would totally be a different life to live downtown, but it would be so fun. So many things that I love to come to are just walking distance. So it'd be really fun to like not have to worry about parking downtown and just walk to things. And it feels quiet up here. I'm even facing the construction right now. And when you're this high, it's a lot more quiet. All I can hear is the guys working on the elevator down there. Um, I'm gonna go check out the amenities and see what those are like, but I really like it. Okay, I really love the amenities so far. There's like big space for dogs, 
several pools, a great gym. I wouldn't need a gym membership, which would be really nice because I don't have one anymore. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Here's the thing. I am actually going to go see if I can see the other unit that I'm interested in at the totally other building. I don't think that the exact unit that I want is open right now, but I think that the orientation, basically like the two bedroom version that faces the same way is open to look at. And just to see what the light is like, it would be a more convenient option because it's a little bit out of town. There's really easy parking. There's twice the amount of space. Um, I already have friends in the area. It's like, it's the easier option. I'm gonna go see if I can see that because I think if I decide that I want to do the other apartment, I need to at least reserve it ASAP and I could always back out if I decide that's not what I want to do later and I'm just out a little bit of money but that's what we're gonna go do right now it's turned into just an apartment hunting day I guess so I just toured the two bedroom and the um, leasing guy came with me so I didn't get any audio clips I just got some iPhone clips but um, like I said this is the two bedroom I would be interested and they have like they call it a one and a half it's basically like the den space has a door so you could close it off. But I toured the two just to kind of get a feel for like the feel of the building and the view and everything like that. And it is stunning. Like I said, the price is a little bit more, but then you'd be saving on things like parking. Um, the downtown one you have to pay for parking and this one you wouldn't. So really at the end of the day, the price wouldn't be too, too, too different. It's just the downtown one sounds really exciting and fun and different and something I hadn't done before. This is more kind of in my old neighborhood, but it is a lot more peaceful, a lot more spacious. Um, and then still like an easy drive to everything that I'd want to do. So it's kind of a matter of like, do I want exciting, fun, different, or do I want like less stressful, peaceful, calm, quiet. And I feel like though I'm kind of tempted to do something exciting and different, I probably wouldn't regret taking the less stressful option. Um, but the downtown one would probably get better light than this one. This one faces not fully North, kind of like Northwest. So you get some direct sunlight in the morning. I'm already 60 days out from February. So things are opening up and filling up. I kind of got to start thinking about it a little bit, unless I keep Airbnb, which is totally an option too. And who knows, maybe I'll find a cute little rental house. Maybe I want to try that life for a little bit. I don't know. There's so many good options, but that was really fun to see. What I'm thinking about doing is going back, um, making some gingerbread cookies. And then tonight I have now, since I'm not doing cookies tonight, I have a date night with Jordy and I might wrap Christmas presents while on FaceTime with him tonight because I got all of the presents that I'm shipping out and it would be nice to get those wrapped and in the mail to hopefully arrive by Christmas. I'm filming this the 12th. I feel like I'm getting close to needing to put those in the mail pretty soon. <laughs> cleaning the kitchen which look it's so clean uh, and I just finished and I was like I wonder how much time is left on the timer and I checked the timer and it's gone and I cannot tell you what time I put these in so I don't know if they're under if they're over I don't know but I think I'm just gonna take them out they're not burned uh, I made them pretty thick and I had to add a lot of flour for them to be movable okay they're like they're firm question of the day do you like your gingerbread like snap, like a ginger snap? Do you like it like crunchy or do you like it soft? I feel like these, apparently as they cool, they harden, but these are like hard on the top, but I feel like they're gonna have some chew to them. Um, 
but here's what we got. I made an M with my leftover dough. We got some men, some women, some baby boys, and some baby girls. <laughs> There's even this teeny tiny little one that I didn't use because I was like, those would burn to a crisp, I'm sure. But um, I'll let these cool for a bit. I'm gonna do some computer work and then we will come back and taste test. Not you, the vet said no more cheats. I'm so sorry, I know, I know. How you feeling with your tech? Feeling okay? You're smelling my hands, huh? You smell molasses? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's been almost an hour. The sun is almost gone. I feel like we should try one of the medium gingerbread boys. I'm picking a crooked one. He's going. Mmm! Taste is fantastic. But this is reading as like a drier crunch instead of like a snap. That's what that looks like. But the taste is really good. I think that the bigger men will probably be a better consistency than these, but these are still, I would still give these, honestly, maybe like a seven out of 10. And then with icing on it, it would be even better. I got about an hour and a half until date night with Jordy. I have at least an hour and a half of work left, maybe more. So I'm gonna knock that out and then I'll see if I get a little montage of wrapping presents maybe during date night with y'all and see how presents turn out. I'm excited to have that done. I might try to put it in the mail tomorrow. Tomorrow might be a busy day. It's gonna be another vlog day. So, be doing it with y'all. gifts that are being shipped out before Christmas are done. I don't mind that they're all the same wrapping paper. I like laid them all here to get an Instagram story. Behind the scenes of trying to get good content, you know what I mean? But it's actually so cute with the gingerbread cookies. I mean, come on, look at them all laid out together with the lights and the garland. And I love how everyone compliments each other so well, all the different shades. Oops, there goes some string. So I'm ready to ship them all out. By the way, Side note, I got some DMs when I posted these tags. People were like very confused about this. This is not an ex, okay? This is Jordy's brother's wife. <laughs> There's a lot of people with similar names in the world. But um, my question is, let's see if I can stack all of these in this one box. One, two, okay, let's try both the square ones over here. This is just my work. <gasps> Are you kidding? Oh, it's tight, but I think by golly, I think I could tape that and wrap that up and send that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Another good vlogmas in the books. I knew day 12 would be a good day because 12 is the best number. I'm excited to start a whole new one tomorrow. I think tomorrow's gonna be fun. We're gonna do the cookie decorating now that we have some of them baked and we are going to kind of rethink my whole plan, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> but I wanted to say thanks again to Seed for partnering with me on this video. I'm gonna have my link and my code and all the good stuff that you might need down below. But in case, I mean, it's hard to forget, it's Mikkel. And that will get you 15% off your first month. Thank y'all for being here. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Drove to the suburbs with our Christmas lists Waiting for parking, you gave me a kiss